This video is how to foam black print. This is using temper paint. In my classroom, it's labeled the sign foam black prints. Okay, I made my foam black in the last video. Okay, it's nice and carved. All the lines are super bumpy. It's a little bit blue because I already did a practice print with it. This is what foam black prints tend to look like. This was a finished copy, so I'm going to make my, my second one. Okay, if you've already printed, okay, look, I just finished printing with this plate. You can get a paper towel, keep one or two next to you, and you could lightly, lightly kind of wipe it off. Okay, you don't need to wash it between prints. If it's wet, it's not going to print properly. Okay, the things that you need besides a couple paper towels next to you is you want a foam book. This is the surface you're going to print on because it'll keep the table nice and neat. You want some temper paint. You could use one color. You could use more than one. You'll need a little tray. Make sure that ridge, you can feel it on the edge, that ridge is up. It's bumpy. And I like to pre-label all my papers. You might want to have two or three papers kind of already labeled because when you print, it's nice to make multiples. You'll also need a brayer. Okay, which was what we're going to roll the ink out with. Now you can just do one color or two colors. But the first thing is on my tray, I'm going to make a line of paint. Now I'm going to mix these two together. So if I have a little variation, it might end up pretty purple. Okay, and then I'm going to roll it out. I like to go in one direction. I go in one direction, then lift it up. One direction, then lift it. Okay, I can mix it into the blue. Sometimes you can get kind of a rainbow roll look if you start on one side and move to the other as you're doing that. You want to have pretty thin amount of paint. You don't want blobs of paint. Then I'm going to roll it up and down on my picture. I'm not using too much paint. If I ran out, I can go and get some more. So that's pretty good. So work right on top of the phone book. Then you want to rip out a phone book page because we don't want to print with messy stuff. So I'm going to rip that out and this would go in the trash. I just folded it up and put it next to me. I tend to make a little pile of all my trash when I'm printing because printing can have a lot of stuff to it. Then I'm going to put my finished rolled out ink on top of there. I'm going to get one of my new printing papers, name side up. I'm going to, I like to hold two corners a top corner and a bottom corner and I'm going to hover it above and then just drop it okay one hand presses straight down and the other hand's going to rub okay you need to make sure the other hand is holding it or else it's going to smear and it's not going to have a nice clear image when you're done make sure you rub all over it and then you can switch hands and do it the other way don't rub back and forth if it makes you pick the paper up okay I'm kind of pressing it's a lot of pressure as I'm doing this. All right, it looks like everything's pressed down pretty good. Then I like to grab one corner and slowly start peeling my paper up. Okay, I kind of like that print just as much as my first one. All right, so once that's done and I have my prints, I'm going to take them to the drying rack, drying rack, making sure they're all next to each other. And if I wanted to print one more, you know, I still have ink that's still wet. I could just go back, wipe it off really, really gently. Barely need to wipe it off at all. And I could print my next one. Okay. Just make sure the most important thing when you're doing this, so your paper stays nice and neat on the edges, is that once you get the ink rolled out, rip off that foam book, fold it in half, put it next to you in a little garbage pile, and then you want to print on top of that two corners, hover it and hold it down. Okay, then I would press it again. Make sure your fingers stay nice and clean as you're printing. So I keep a paper towel next to me and I keep wiping my fingers off. Okay, when I'm done, I'm going to take these two things to the sink. Okay, I'll put the tray right in the bottom. Okay, and wipe it with the sponge. I can wipe the sponge, the brayer, the brayer, the ink roller also with the sponge. Um, my prints will all go on the drying rack and all the tools and everything I took out will go away.